So as for the question, why did the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam marry 11 wives when the Quran gave the upper limit of four? Firstly, I would want to know that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam never married for sexual pleasure or for his own selfish interest. He either married for political reason or social reform. Like his marriage to Umar Abiba, the daughter of Abu Sufyan, a chief in Makkah, for political reason. Or for social reform, like the marriage to Hafsa, the daughter of Umar radiallahu an. Yes, I agree. The Quran gave an upper limit of for, that's allowed for men to marry only four wives. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in Surah Nisa, Quran chapter number four, verse number three. فَانْكِحُوا مَا طَابَ لَكُمْ مِنَ النِّسَاءِ مَثْنَى وَثُلَاثَ وَرُبَاعَ فَإِنْ خِفْتُمْ أَلَّا تَعْدِلُوا فَوَاهِدَ He said, marry women of your choice, two or three or four. If you cannot act justly as between them, then marry only one. Allah has given the upper limit of four wives with the condition that act justly as among them. When this was revealed, the companions who had more than four wives divorced their wives and reduced them at least to the upper limit of four. And those who had intention of adding wives or marrying more than four changed their intention. But in the case of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala said in Surah Najm, Quran chapter 53, verse number four, in huwa illa wahiyin yuha, it is not but only a revelation to him. The Prophet only acts by Allah's revelation to him. So what was his own case? After this verse was revealed, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in Surah Al-Ahzab, Quran chapter number 33, verse number 52, He said, La yahillun laka nisa min ba'd. He said, it is forbidden for you to marry any other woman after this, any other woman in addition to the woman you had. Allah forbid the Prophet from marrying any additional woman or wife to the wives he had. And in continuation, he said, وَلَا أَن تَبَدَّلَ بِهِنَّ مِنْ أَزْوَاجٍ Nor should you replace, nor should you, should you exchange them with other wives. وَلَوْ أَعْجَبَكَ حُسْنَهُنْ Even if their beauty attracts you. إِلَّا مَا مَلَكَتْ يَمِينُكْ Except what your right hand possesses. وَكَانَ اللَّهُ عَلَى كُلِّ شَيْءٍ رَكِيبًا and Allah is verily watchful over all affairs. So here the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded the Prophet, we forbid him from taking any other additional wife or replacing the ones he had with other women. Now why is this? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the next verse, in Surah Ahzab, Quran chapter number 33, verse number 53, he said, مَا كَانَ لَكُمْ أَن تُؤْزُ الرَّسُولَ اللَّهِ Say, it is not appropriate for you to annoy the Allah's Messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. وَلَا أَن تَنْكِحُوا أَزْوَاجَهُ مِنْ بَعْدِهِ أَبَدًا Nor should you marry his widows after he has departed. Nor should you marry his wives after he, after he has left the earth. إِنَّ ذَلِكُمْ كَانَ عِنْدَ اللَّهِ عَظِيمًا for verily, this in the sight of Allah is a grave animosity. So this is the reason why the Prophet's case was an exemption. If he had divorced them, then they wouldn't be able to get any other, any other man. They wouldn't be able to marry another person because it's forbidden for anybody to marry the, the wives of the Prophet. So for this reason, Allah forbid the Prophet from divorcing them and also from adding wife or marrying on any other wife in addition to the ones he had. Hope this answers the question.